Birmingham News reports Alabama's GOP leadership is calling on Republican Governor Robert Bentley to resign immediately. Impeachment proceedings are expected to begin today. Governor Bentley has been caught up in a scandal since last year when recordings revealed what his wife claims was an affair with a top aide. In a report, the State House Judiciary Committee said the governor's, quote, failure to cooperate with the committee's investigation is potentially an independent grounds for his impeachment. Omar Villafranca is outside the state capitol in Montgomery, Alabama. Omar, good morning. Good morning, Governor. Robert Bentley ran as a law and order family values candidate, but last week a state ethics committee said he may have violated campaign and ethics laws. Now his wife has divorced him and his political future is in question. Our state doesn't need this anymore. Alabama Governor Robert Bentley is battling against his own state Republican supermajority in order to keep his job. At issue, whether Bentley broke the law to cover up an alleged affair with a former top staffer, Rebecca Caldwell Mason. 74-year-old Bentley defended himself on Friday. I do not plan to resign. I have done nothing illegal. A 130-page report includes text messages handed over to the House Committee's special counsel by Alabama's former first lady. In one exchange, Bentley professes his love for Mason, and Mason responds, bless our hearts and other parts. Both Mason and Bentley have denied an affair. His constituents were quick to react. Bless our hearts and other parts. <laughs> well, I think it's time for the governor to go home. They hate my seats. In 2014, Diane Bentley also secretly recorded a conversation between her husband and Mason. Mrs. Bentley's then chief of staff helped her record it. In spring 2014, when the governor became aware, that staffer said Bentley warned her to watch herself and she did not know what she was getting into. I've talked to half a dozen staffers who are named in the documents who say it was just absolute fear and intimidation. John Archibald, a columnist well with the Alabama Media Group, says it appears the governor went to great lengths to keep the relationship secret. He's lost his family. He has lost his credibility. He's lost everything he had, and he's about to lose his job. The report also states that Bentley misused state resources when he ordered law enforcement officials to break up with Mason for him. The hearing is expected to last about a week. Nora. Wow, Omar, thank you.